Hi guys, I'm Nancy and I'm going to show you how to find the inverse of a function. What's an inverse? An inverse is just the reverse of a function. It basically undoes whatever your function did. So if your function takes x and gives you y, your inverse function is taking that y and giving you back x. Why would you want to do this? Good question, I don't know, but your teacher wants you to, so let me show you how to find the inverse function. So what you'll already need to know is how to tell if something is a one-to-one -one function. So for every x value, you only have one corresponding y value. Okay, so say you have a function like this, f of x equals x plus two over x, and you need to find the inverse if it exists. Of course, for this function, we also need to keep in mind that x cannot equal 0 because we can't divide by 0. The first step is just to rewrite f of x as just y. So we would just have y equals x plus 2 divided by x. Then this is the most important step. You need to swap x and y. So you switch x and y everywhere they appear. So we would actually have x on the left side instead of y. Here on the right side, replace x with y everywhere. So we would have y plus 2 divided by y. Last step you need to solve for y so that we're back to y equals with y alone on the left side. To do that, we'll need to clear this fraction. So you would multiply both sides by y to clear the fraction and then get in the next line x times y equals just y plus 2 because we've cleared the y. Then, if you want to get y alone, you'll need to have all your y's on one side. So why don't we just bring this y over to the left by subtracting it from both sides. So you get xy minus y equals just 2. Now, to solve for y, you only want y to appear once on the left side. So the best way to do that is to factor out a y. So you'd have y parentheses, and what's left is x minus 1 equals 2. Final step, divide out the x minus 1 from both sides, so you have y equals 2 divided by x minus 1. To write this as a function, we would use inverse notation, f inverse with a negative 1 superscript of x equals the expression but first, you have to check that this is actually a function. Sometimes it's just a relation and not a function. Is this a function? It is because for any one x value we plug in, there's only one corresponding y. And if we look at the graph of this function, as you know, it would look something like this. So if you did the vertical line test and checked everywhere, it only intersects once, so it's a function. So we can use this notation, f inverse of x equals 2 over x minus 1. If you found that it's not a function, you would just answer inverse function does not exist. So your answer for the inverse function is f inverse of x equals 2 over x minus 1. So this one magically worked out, but some things to look out for where you may not have an inverse function and your inverse function doesn't exist is if you have a y squared somewhere here in your equation or you have a graph that could look something like this, where if you drew a vertical line, 
it would cross more than once, might cross twice. You wouldn't have a function in that case, so you wouldn't have an inverse function, and you would just say that your inverse function doesn't exist. I hope this video helped you understand how to find the inverse of a function, if it exists. If it did help you, please click like.